Hi everybody out there in YouTube land, it's Lisa from Whistler Alterations. I have here a pair of snowboarding or ski pants that need to be taken up. This is a really tricky task and there's a few ways to do it. Now unfortunately these pants here are equipped with Rico, which is your avalanche system. They have a zipper and Velcro. So in addition they have a gaiter. So it makes it really difficult to, to take them up the old-fashioned way right here and also because of the pattern on the knee you can't take them up any higher. Plus these are really high quality pants. They're a technical fabric so all the seams have been taped and waterproofed. So after much thought I figured out a solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. Now it might be there we are. Um, I'll pin it and I'll come back and show you how I did it. So let me just show you first what the finished product is going to look like, just so you know, so you can anticipate what it's going to look like. Now, lucky for me, the seam almost matches exactly what the manufacturer's seam looks like. But do keep in mind that if you're going to be doing something with um, three-ply Gore-Tex, you'll have to use a seal seam or a tape or something like that to make sure it's waterproof. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not going to use any, especially since this area is going to be on your ski boots uh, or your snowboarding boots, so this area won't necessarily be subject to a lot of moisture. Okay, so I'll show you once it's all pinned. Okay, so here we are with our ski pants pinned. So I'll show you the inside. So just keep in mind when you are pinning this sort of fabric, use the thinnest pins you have, just so you don't perforate the material. It's really important with technical fabric. And I've pinned it across because I'll be stitching over that. So if you see any of the little pin pricks, it'll just be covered up by my stitch. So what I've done is on the inside, I've tucked the gaiter up so that when we sew it, and we're going to sew it on top of this side, when we sew it, the gaiter will be pushed up so that when we're finished, I can show you over here what it looks like. So the gaiter now sits normally, so I had it pushed up. So there we go. Let me just finish this side and I'll show you the fully finished product. And here we go, we have the finished ski slash snowboard pants. So we've taken them up and we tried to match the seam just like the actual seam on the original pant. And there we go, and we see that the gaiter is still intact. All is well. So this is Lisa from Whistler Alterations. Good luck with your altering.